Hey YouTube, what's going on? Check this out. Bought a bought a bow last night. I've never had a bow before. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. It's a, a diamond archery by Bowtech Fugitive. Always kind of wanted to learn to have one. Uh, maybe I can learn to use it and shoot a groundhog with it. If you're into that kind of stuff, check out my other YouTube site, uh, Hey Fatty. I'll put a link down below. I've got a lot of groundhog hunting kills and hog hunting and ram hunting and all kinds of stuff where uh, I've had some adventures. But Anyhow, I think this is going to be pretty cool, but that's not what this video is about. So let me put this away for just a second. Dreamed up a new project this week, and what we're going to do is build a bathroom mirror. Just got back from Lowe's and I have some goodies. Got a got a one by eight. These are poplar. I uh, got a one by six here. Got a piece of half inch. And I got a couple of one by threes. Got a piece of trim. Let's see, I got a, got a dowel rod. I got two different kinds of shelf brackets. I'm not sure which one I'll end up with. Got one of these. May use use those. And I got a 20 by 24 inch standard eighth inch, eighth, eighth inch thick mirror. And we're gonna put all this together, hopefully into something that'll make sense. Got about, mm, probably $80 in this. And I know you could buy a pretty nice made in China mirror for 80 bucks, but uh, when we get finished, we're gonna have something unique that you can't go buy at, at Lowe's or in Walmart or something like that and I think it's going to be built a little bit better and last a little longer than what you buy off the shelf. So we'll go ahead and get started. I uh, haven't got it all worked out in my mind, so this will be a little bit of an adventure as we go. So we'll just go ahead and start laying out our parts and figuring out what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got our mirror laid out here, and what we're going to do is um, build build a frame around it. We're going to use one by threes. The actual dimension on a one by three is two and a half inches. So we'll have a two, two and a half inch wide uh, casing all the way around. Now, this mirror is actually, uh, what did I say, 24 inches exactly and by 20 inches exactly. We don't want to cut to those exact dimensions because we want to have just a little bit of a of a space on each side so that our mirror can go down in there and fit and fit good but still have some room to, to work with if we need it and have a little bit of a of a gap uh, probably something less than a sixteenth so we'll have probably about a thirty second of an inch gap on each side so let's go ahead and cut the pieces out and lay them up and see what we end up with. Okay, we have all of our rails and our styles cut out. Uh, they, they, they're going to fit really good. Uh, we'll have about a quarter, I'm sorry, about a, less than a 16th maybe a 32nd of an inch on each side of this mirror so we'll, we'll be able to lay the mirror in and there won't be very much gap um, the thing that i didn't mention is this bottom skirt here i used a one by eight which is actually seven and a quarter inches and the reason that we did that is because uh, we're going to put a shelf on this and i haven't worked it all out uh, thinking about using just a off the shelf at Lowe's shelf bracket or I don't know maybe 
making something up that would look cool. Haven't, haven't decided. And there'll be a shelf, of course, wider than this. It will you know, come out like that. And um, yeah, I think that'll look good. And it'll give us some room down here. It'll give you know, a little bit of character. I think it's going to look good that way. So what I'm going to do now, uh, let's picture this as being the back of the frame. I'm going to come in here with uh, on the router table and I'm going to cut a slot, a rabbit, all the way around the inside perimeter. That way I can take a piece of quarter inch plywood and lay it into that slot and it will give us a surface on the front to glue the mirror to. So uh, let's flip it back over in our mind and this is the front. So this mirror will lay down on that plywood and glue in. We want to have a reveal probably no more than an eighth of an inch. So uh, eighth of an inch there, the mirror is an eighth of an inch. Uh, that's a quarter. This is three quarter inch stock. So I need to cut the groove or the slot uh, a half inch. I think that's right. I'll, I'll double check that and run a test piece to make sure. Once I do that, I'll drill pocket holes in the styles and go ahead and assemble the frame. <coughs> Um, so let's get that done and I'll come back and show you what we have. Okay, we'll go ahead and get some pocket holes in here. I went ahead and put a little bit of glue uh, in on these joints here, just a smidge. Let's go ahead and get these in. Probably didn't need the glue. I've had pretty success without it, but it won't hurt anything. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and get the pocket holes in the uh, bottom. Again, I put a little glue in the joints, just a little bit. Well, we have our frame built all together with pocket holes. Here you can see the back. See the slot we have cut in the back? And that's where we'll, we'll cut a piece of plywood now that will lay down into that slot so that on the front we'll have a surface to glue the mirror to. So it looks pretty good. Um, I actually crack the corner here and we can see that and I have found with using this pop where it cracks real easy and if you don't run your pocket hole in fast enough your screw in fast enough it seems like it'll make it crack almost every time I think it'll be okay I'm going to keep an eye on it and uh, throughout the build if, if it becomes a problem I guess I'll be taking it back apart but for now we'll go ahead and cut up the plywood We 
got our uh, got our plywood backing cut out and fits in there really nice tighter than Dick's hat band uh, so you'll be able to see now on the front we have a surface that we can glue our mirror to what I'm going to do is come in here along this inside edge I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue in it and then I'm going to nail it at an angle with a pen nailer so let's get that done I'll take a little bit of glue not a lot just a little bit Fits good. Now we'll take our pen nail. I'm going to nail it at an angle so it don't come out the front. I'm using three quarter inch pen nails. Yeah, it's a perfect angle right there. Really, all this is doing is kind of pulling up, pulling that plywood up close to the edge so that the glue can set up. go. There we go. Okay. We'll let that glue set up and we'll come back in and Guest star on that shelf.